Hello everyone, welcome to KTS Kumar YouTube channel. My name is Santa Kumar. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a SharePoint list based on a list templates using Power Automate. So before we move on to Power Automate, let's see the same activity which we can do with Autobox. So first, I am just move on to SharePoint site. From here, I am just click new and list. Now you see the list of available templates. From here you can choose any of the list templates and create a list. So I'm just selecting asset manager and then use template. So I'm just giving a box and click on create. So this creates a new list with predefined columns. Okay. So the same thing we are going to do with the Power Automate. So let's move on to the Power Automate screen. From here, I'm going to select the manual flow. So selecting the instant club flow and here just select manual trigger a flow and going to give you a name, create SharePoint list from template then click on create now we have the flow in a new version okay so let me just rehide this copilot we are going to do two actions for creating a list first one is we have to retrieve all the available list templates from the SharePoint Next one is based on the choose to list template, we are going to create a list. Okay. To do this, we need two methods from the SharePoint Trust API. One is get list designs under site script utility. Another one is apply list design from the site script utility. Get list designs, which is retrieved the available templates from the SharePoint. Next one is apply list design, which is used to create a list based on the specified list template. So first go into this Power Automate and then call, I'm going to call send HTTP request from the SharePoint. So click on the send an HTTP request to SharePoint. So from here I'm going to select a SharePoint site. Next one is using, I'm going to use the post method. Next one is I'm going to call that endpoint. Just copy this. So this is the endpoint I'm going to use. So the connections are already connected. So I have no need to worry about it. Just click on save. So once it is saved, we'll be going to test it. So let's click on the test. Click manually and then test. So it's asking for the sign in for the authenticate the connections. So let's click continue and run flow. So the flow is run, clicking on done. Your flow ran successfully. So let's see the output. Here, click on the show raw outputs. So I'm just sending a CTP request. So here we can see the get list designs method, which is a test a lot of results. So I'm just copying this. I'm just copying this entire schema. And then, so here, uh, here I have copied the entire uh, the output. You can see under the results, there are a lot of templates. Before copy the schema into the Power Automate, so let's clean up some activities because we have the same results name in multiple places. So if you are adding this, it will uh, confuse us when we are filtering the, uh, the template. So, so I'm just removing the entire array. So let's keep only one object and removing the uh, remaining uh, result item. I'm just also going to remove some of the objects from here. Script IDs. So I think we don't need this, so I'm just removing this items. Okay. 
we are mostly the word a title and then list icon list color then id id is an important value we are going to use in apply list design so then we need a internal name these are the values we are going to use in apply list design method so let's copy this schema and then open the power automate pass json so we are searching for the action called pass json and then just click on this use sample payload to generate schema paste the schema here and done the json object is created here so then just select from here body of the sender and HTTP request to SharePoint. So I just selected this. So then next what we are going to do is we have to filter the list name with the results. So for that I am just going to add filter. I am going to add filter array action. Let's select this and array of filters is nothing but the body results. So from here just going to choose the body title is equal to uh, we i think before going to this we can create one dynamic uh, variable in manual trigger let's have so just text the text input we are giving the name as list template okay so and then if you want to give our own name to list name for that, I am just going to add one more input. I am giving the name as list name. Okay. We have created new two new variables. Here in the filter array, I am going to use list template. I just added. So, so this will filter the items. So, let's see whether this is filtered item or not. So, I am just saving this. Then click on test. Choose the manually option. Click test button and then here in the input we have to give the name so maybe i'm just giving the asset manager then asset manager so if you want to know the templates available so here from here i'm just selecting this asset manager and then list name is uh, power automate assets click to flow so done successfully let's see the filter array returns any values oh it's written it doesn't return any value here i think we missed something let's go on to get it one more time and see the result okay just click on here okay asset manager so here this asset manager yam is a small but we have uh, used uh, the caption so due to that uh, we received a empty array so let's rerun the same okay run this asset managers assets. let's sun flow done Let's see the output. Yeah, now we receive the output. You see, so this is a case sensitive. So please provide a value in a correct case. So we have retrieved all the list templates and we have filtered it out. Now we are going to apply or create a new list. So let's edit this. Let's add a send an HTTP request from SharePoint. Let's choose the site name and then post method. Then add the apply list design endpoint. The parameters we have to add so body. The body we are going to add at so let's copy this and move on to the body parameter. Just pasting this over here going to replace this with body 
id okay so this is a filter so it uh, returns a, a array going inside for each replace this template inter name with body inter name for this i am going to give our input called uh, list name right list name this arrow here and then this is come the template inter name is coming from inter name replace in all the areas okay. we have added in all the places so i can maybe we can use a variable from body list icon and then for color also we can use body list class okay now we have updated the parameters so i'm just saving this okay now test this manually this test so now we are going to give instead of asset manager we can give some other value maybe uh, maybe travel request travel request travel the list name also pa travel request and run flow stand let's see the output the flow is running and this is done so everything is run successfully and we can see the output yes the status quo is 200 so i think the list is created let's move on to the site contents and see the list is created or not yes the list is created under the pa travel request and now you can see the predefined columns available here so just create an item find by say gathering requester more destination would be uh, let's do something and save this so yeah that's it so this is a very simple way in dynamically creating a SharePoint list based on a template we can make use of this latest uh, this rest endpoints to create a list so thank you for watching so if you are new to my channel please subscribe and also give you a thumbs up to my channel thank you